I go in to try to do like push ups or bench presses, that really muscle fair. control is, is what I guess yeah. gives me a lot of soreness. Gotta be evicted. Get him out. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I've had people, why did 20 15 minute sessions? I didn't say that. I said 20 20 minutes because 20 is not a made up number. It's not a number I came up with that sounds cool. Yeah. It's a real number for how long it takes to stretch ligaments. Ligamentous creep is what we call it medically, but the ligaments that define your posture have to be fatigued by holding them stretched for about 20 minutes. So is that the same like going vice versa? Like if you spend 20 minutes right. crouched or crouched over? Yes, it'll... very smart, very smart. Okay. Yes, very good, yes. Okay, so pre-high school, uh, kind of was just really fumbly, um, fell out of a tree once, landed on a trampoline on my tailbone, like on the metal ring. Early teenage years? Yeah, really early. Okay. Um, going into high school, um, and I been doing jujitsu for okay. seven years. Okay. Going into high school, um, the first year wasn't that bad. Second, third, and fourth, I was fluctuating between like three different weight classes. It was going pretty well up until my senior year when I had the accident. Um, guy picked me up, went to slam me down, and instead of landing correctly, I landed kind of like on my, like this. How did he pick you up? Like round your waist? Picked up both legs. Both and legs. Lift, take down. Double leg takedown. Landed straight. Onto your. Uh, on my shoulder, which kind of like jammed it. Yeah. Okay. Had severe pain going across down through here uh -huh. into my ribs. Uh huh. Just kind of stabbing pain is kind of done with unless I go to work out, uh -huh. which is where everything starts flaring up, which is kind of where my main problem is. Like I want to start gaining a little bit more weight, and it's just uh, two, three weeks in, it just starts getting really painful. You indicated that you had some numbness. Is it the upper arm on the right up here? Yeah. So if so, basically, if I go to stretch out fully, uh -huh. I'll start getting like the tingles in okay. my fingertips. But not um, if you're stretching. You don't have that happen. Sometimes, if I've been driving, because with my work, I drive a lot. Okay. Um, you know, after the sixth, seventh hour, I'll start getting numbness. Just just with your arms in a regular position, mm -hmm. just yeah, neutral just, here forward. Yeah. And it starts going numb. And Never when I'm like laying down or relaxed or anything like that. How long has that numbness been going on? Four or five months, maybe. Okay. Has anybody, nobody, have you told that to a doctor and has anybody ever taken a picture of your neck? Have you uh, no. Okay. But no, have you told that to a doctor? Have you said uh, that well, you have numbness? Not since I got the numbness, but okay. I have gotten x rays in the past. Okay. Yeah, so I have, I think, like rib out of place or it's starting to come mm -hmm. out and it's mm -hmm. been like that since, since really that injury happened. Okay. All right. Well, we got a couple things going on here. So we have the joint injuries. We have joint injury to your shoulder. We have joint rib head injuries mm -hmm. potentially in the back, joint injury on the front. The numbness down the arm, you know, there's a couple things that can be going on. I'd be kind of curious to see how the, the discs in the neck are doing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really change my treatment, but, you know, it's a strong indicator that especially if you're, you know, when you bring your arm back, you are stretching the pectoralis muscle. Mm -hmm. which, when you're stretching your pec muscle, the nerves that are of the brachial plexus that go down your arm can get pressured by that pec stretching. Okay. And that's not anything pathological, it just mm -hmm. means that we need to get your posture changed and your mm -hmm. pec stretch. But if you're noticing it, just driving it concerns me a little bit that there could be some disc injury mm -hmm. in your lower neck. So that has a lot to do with the curve in your neck, mm -hmm. the posture, your head being forward, the alignment of our body puts, could potentially put stress on your lower neck, age your lower neck at a faster rate, coupled with injuries that you've been through, and that the discs are ultimately what define our long-term health. Mm -hmm. So the long-term health of your spine comes from these, from the pieces of cartilage that support open the holes that the nerves pass through. Mm -hmm. Joint injury, while the nerves in the joints, are, there are a lot of nerves in the joints, and so you can feel like the end of the world, but it's sometimes mm -hmm. not so difficult to fix because joints replace. Yeah. But ultimately, these discs don't replace, and so it's important that we you know, evaluate also, you know, long term, how are, how are mm. those discs doing? That's mm. like the enamel on your teeth. Yeah. My, my job, like, for the past um, four years, I've been driving like almost 200,000 miles. Okay. Um, and sitting at an office desk. Do you have anything so, shooting down your leg? Nothing down sometimes? Very rarely, but I do get like an occasional, like, it feels like sciatica. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're dealing with a pretty significant forward head posture here, about at least two, three inches almost. 
from where your head should be. Uh, the middle of your ear hole should be over the center of your shoulder. And that, the posture that you're in already tells me your lower neck's going to be taking a lot of mechanical mm -hmm. stress. A lot of the reason why our posture with our head goes forward is because the back part of your spine has a lot of feeling and the front does not. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes easy just over time to just want to put the weight on less sensitive parts of your mm -hmm. spine. And so that less sensitive part, the disc, will then get injured and then we, we're left with the reasons for a lot of surgeries that happen in the spine. So we, we, we don't want the joints to be inflamed and then need to be avoided. Yeah. So as we balance your spine, clean out those joints a little bit, you won't have the desire to get away from them and then, oh, I can be upright, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. Kind and that's of pulling everything back takes so much work. Just... Right, well, it's so much work because of how far forward yeah. you are. It's a big distance to come back. So our body's wrapped in ligaments and the, your job specifically and then your you know, training that you've been through, all that usually takes us forward and not much of it takes mm -hmm. us back and so your body then becomes more and more accustomed to just remaining mm -hmm. stuck forward. So your left shoulder's high, you know, the, yeah, it's, almost it's, like your, of... it's almost like your torso is rotated here. Yeah. Your left pec is forward. You see that, Carl? Mm -hmm. Like he's just rotated. Oh, yeah, and the other thing is my scapula um, has always been able to wing out really more. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, oh my god, that's awesome. Hang on, and that's like when I go in to try to do like push ups or bench presses, that really muscle fair. control is, is what I guess yeah. gives me a lot of soreness. Injury to your neck can damage the long thoracic nerve, which goes to your serratus anterior muscle. Mm -hmm. And then because we have nerve pressure, you have numbness down your arm, it indicates that we need to get the pressure off those nerves. Now, if the nerve is damaged for a long period of time, it's not really something that can be fixed mm -hmm. in terms of. If it's been damaged for a long period of time, the nerve actually like checks out yeah. and says bye bye. The connection. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much it's going to affect you long term, but we, I want to fix the main things that I can fix, address today, which are your spine, the discs, your body. What I was noticing also is that your 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 body's like concaved forward on the front. But this is this, this is almost like you're trapped here. And in order to fix it, we've got to actually stretch the front part of you open mm -hmm. to get your body back upright. Yeah, that's what it felt like. This part's kind of like slipping over. Right. You know what I mean? From well, it's like this twisting, the left pec is forward in. and then the right back shoulder, it's, you're like rotated on your, on your torso. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so the, <laughs> I went through a round of physical therapy and I was young and kind of skirted by it. I didn't really think much of it um, when I kind of went on the journey. Yeah. When I found you, learning about physical therapy and all that, um, doing like the shoulder pulls. And yeah. The, um, I noticed. I can start developing more of a mind-muscle connection. Okay. Take a deep breath in for me. Let's sit up. Head back for me. Okay. Deep breath in. Here we go. Let the jaw relax. Let the jaw relax open. There you go. Very nice. Right. Oof. Got my shoulder in that one. Yeah. Slide down. Side face of me. All right. Take a deep breath in. Then exhale for me. All right, other side for me, all right? Take a deep breath in, exhale. All right, face that for me, good. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? Really good. <laughs> there we go. There you go, there you go. Chin up. Very nice. Loosen that up, see if we can go a little deeper than that. Ultimately, adjusting somebody can't change the position of their spine. I wish it were true. <laughs> it just isn't. And so the adjustment, the massage, the gua sha, you know, all the soft tissue work is, a, is essentially like prepping paint. <laughs> You're prepping for polishing. You're mm -hmm. prepping the spine for the stretching, which is ultimately what changes your, your posture. And The joints in your lower neck will actually refer pain to right where in between your scapula. And so there is a couple overlaps there. It can be lower neck joint inflammation, which is also why your head's forward, mm -hmm. right? So the joint in the lower neck is inflamed. That gives you scapular pain. You can have, I 
can only imagine how much those joints got jammed when you landed. <laughs> so absolutely they you know, were injured when you landed. Now, the difficulty is that if it was just the rib heads, it would to me be a period of like, let's say six weeks where they hurt and mm -hmm. then it goes away, right? You're, the joints would lock or you know, adapt, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then the pain would be transient. It would just be or very acute and then it, after a period of time it would go away. For it to be ongoing for six years, it kind of tells me that it's the neck, right? Because the alignment that your neck is in is such that your lower neck is under continual stress and then the pain won't go away. Mm -hmm. Versus if it was just the, you know, some ribs that got damaged, they, they would still be injured perhaps when you go in there and ask them to move, but they would lock up. The body would you know, freeze up the area. And then perhaps if somebody touched it, you would hurt, but it wouldn't just be something that just hurts you know, throughout the day or randomly. Um, that tells me it's the lower neck and then the alignment that's causing it. Yeah, I notice like if if it's agitated and I breathe out like fully, uh -huh. I'll feel like a, a stabbing. Stabbing in there. So the, like I said, it's trying to lock up, but then obviously breathing requires it to move. Yeah. <laughs> and then by you taking a deep breath in, you're, you're, you're feeling this old unresolved injury in there. So we'll see if we can clean that out and get that out. Got a long way to go with the spine. Got to make this thing last another 70 years. Yeah, I mean, even when I was 16, when I first went to the chiropractor, they said I had a, you know, 40-year-old desk worker looking like spine. I said, oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> yeah, and when I just kept, you know, seeing one after another, and it right. was... No plan. It literally was the same six adjustments, and then right. see ya. See you later, right? And you're not going to... It's a dental hygienist at best, and there's no orthodontic care. Yeah. You know, if you don't, if you're not aimed at, or the dental hygienists don't want to move your teeth. Yeah. They're not, it's not their job. They have a different person you have to go to to have your teeth realigned. And I feel like most of my profession has become a dental hygienist, and that's okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, it's just, you're not going to get, you can't ask your dental hygienist, well, how do I get this teeth? That's not something I do. Yeah. Right? So they're not going to talk about it, doesn't it? Or, you know, there was an older philosophy that adjustments did it, and it's just the ligaments have to be addressed and changed and stretched. That's what defines our posture. And so the tight ligaments on the front have to be stretched. The joints on the back have to be compressible enough to actually get deep enough to stretch those joints. How's that feeling? Is Amazing. Like, yeah, good. There you go. Oh, real gentle. See if we go a little deeper here. All right, good. You got them all. Good, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit deeper there on that right. There we go. There you go. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You need to stretch these shoulders back. This is all way too kind of grainy and mm -hmm. injured in here, and it's holding your shoulder forward. came out. <laughs> so it all has to be just, just trapped acidity, yeah. inflammation that you get stuck in here. And just, it's like your body plans on taking care of it later and <laughs> now I put it in the front of the queue. You know, here there's all, that's what's inside there. Yeah. I've used massage guns and all of that. Yeah. But mm. I haven't done gua sha. Let that stretch. Yeah, let that stretch. Mm. Yeah, right there. Oof. When you have an injury, your body expects it to happen again. So, so it shells up. Yep, it shells up in anticipation of the. Another fall into the mat. So part of the treatment is to <clears throat> convince your body that it's not going to happen again. So don't fall on any more mats. And don't fall on any more mats. <laughs> That's right. Mm
Do you plan on still doing uh, jujitsu or? Oh, uh, I, I might get back into like. Uh, if like I fix the, you, the, the <laughs> jujitsu that I did growing up was a, a military style. Gotcha. Um, I, a marine taught me. It was a small little class. It okay. was a lot more. Um, it wasn't sport. It was a lot of. Okay. Um, hand to hand combat. I don't know how to describe it. I got you. I got you. But I might go back into like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or something. It's a little bit more controlled. Assuming everything works out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you try to straighten, is there pain? Um, if I try to straighten, it sends my shoulder up. Uh huh. And this, I think, if, I don't know if it's my pec that's super tight or uh -huh. if it's something in my shoulder, but I can feel. I don't know if it's my bicep tendon, uh -huh. but oh, that tendon right there. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's, it's catching. super tight. Okay. It's like the when you have <clears throat> the original fabric was of, of a certain length, and then when it gets torn, it heals in a in a ball. So the total length of the fabric isn't as long as it used to be, mm. and that's where soft tissue work has to come in to then restore its original length. Otherwise, that's what you're noticing. I try to pull my arm back and now my shoulder's having to compensate yeah. or pick up the slack because I can't, this won't stretch, so therefore my shoulder's having to actually move mm -hmm. to get my you know, arm to lengthen out. You know, to me, it just tells me that you've, you've torn things and then they've healed and <laughs> you've lost some of the total length of the fabric, the, the muscle and the tissue, that isn't, the sinew isn't long enough. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some right in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like right there. You've just, you know, these are not of the level of like grade one bicep tear, you yeah. understand? But these are, these, are, these are microscopic tears in the bicep that have healed and then you know, all together as a unit prevented you from being able to get the same length that you should be able to. And so this is usually a couple treatments. You get this kind of lengthened out. You can go online and buy a gua sha tool to start, get some oil and <laughs> start combing this. It's just, yeah. you know, the mark, the mark is never normal. I shouldn't be able to make a mark on you even if I wanted to. The fact that a mark's coming out is evidence of, hey, Ed, it's not working properly and there's why. So yeah, pretty cool. Like what's, I don't know. It's like it's like a carpet cleaner. It's like how many how many passes do I have to make it? And the answer is I really don't know until you, until the mark stops coming out. I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> Once you keep making passes with the carpet cleaner until it comes up clear. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. And that's the way I treat these type of injuries. And usually it doesn't take very long. Usually five six treatments, you're through a large percentage of it. Mm -hmm. The majority of it's dealt with pretty quickly, and then you should start to feel wow, I had my arm doesn't isn't bound up like it was. Yeah, I don't remember what that feels like. <laughs> Everything's replaceable in here for the most yeah. part. So I'm not I'm not really as annoying and as cumbersome or you know, but it's all healable if that makes sense. The the main thing that gives me pause is the neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. The lower neck is of greater value because those discs don't heal and they can put pressure on your spinal cord, yeah. put pressure on nerve roots. Yeah. Some coloration. <laughs> well, you, exactly. The patient knows it's. You can feel what's internal and where it's trapped. I'm sorry. Our world hasn't helped you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nobody's, nobody's really cleaned you out. This is. I mean, adjustments by themselves could do it, but you have to be like adjusted every day the rest of your life. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's kind of pointless. I was going know. four days a week and, and maybe you could get ahead of it at the same time. It's too much. The goal is to get to a place where you're able to brush your own teeth. You understand? You shouldn't have to be going to your dental hygienist every day, yeah. having them clean your teeth. The goal is to be taught how to, you know, not just give you a piece of fish, but teach you to fish so you can get to catch your own fish. You know, it's a mindset. Well, I was looking at your pain chart. I was like, it's everywhere. I right. know. I was scared to like write all this. No, please don't. Like, never, never. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to think I'm over exaggerating. No, no. 
Some people just draw a circle of the whole body. <laughs> just put A. <laughs> it hurts everywhere. It's terrible. It's like I have gingivitis everywhere. Ed. Every tooth hurts. I want to be the best. You That's might. right. That's how mom taught me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go face down. Yeah, we got work to do. There's, a, there's just avoidance. These structures back here, you know, are filled with lactic acid acidity based on the posture, which then creates a positive feedback loop, which builds up more acidity, which makes you avoid it more, which then makes more tension, <laughs> that makes you have to avoid it more. And that's where I hope to break the cycle today of we have to start confronting this. It's not a, there's not just a little bit in here. This is all built up in here. of this right here is what affects ultimately the sciatic nerve. This being out of alignment takes the curve out of your lower back. That then directs all the stress down to your lower back and you, know, you start feeling it down your leg and you're, you know, if, if at 23 you're feeling even just mild symptoms, it's like, we got, we got work to do. <laughs> My kitchen doesn't just clean itself. My dishes don't just, what is that thing? What enchanted movie? Just start singing a song and the birds start coming in and start putting it, thank you birds! <laughs> Thanks for cleaning my kitchen. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. I have four kids that watch a lot of Disney movies. Nobody's showing you the site. Uh uh. <laughs> I didn't even know that was there. Yeah, my girlfriend cannot put enough pressure <laughs> when she massages. <laughs> I showed her a video yesterday, and when you got to this part, I said, right. You see just how seamless his elbow goes back and forth. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right there. Oh, man. I'm glad you didn't color the right side of this tattoo because I'm going to color it for you in a minute. <laughs> it's like one of those. Uh, <laughs> is it purposeful? Do you? Is it only? Are you? Uh, no, just uh, waiting on. Okay. Appointments and money and all that. I got you. I got you. I got you. Plus, my tattoo artist is in Georgia, so. Gotcha. Okay. Black and red. I'll color it in. Perfect for the Georgia Bulldogs. <laughs> <laughs>
is where I start singing the Frozen song. Let it go. <laughs> yeah, let it go. Let him go. I'm not helping you. Let him be evicted. There's a bigger injury here on this right side, right there. Yeah, I can feel it. See, I see it. You see it right there. He even went down to here too, all, all the whole side. more on the right. Well, when your girlfriend sees your back and screams, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did he just run you over? <laughs> mm -hmm. This puts a face to what you're feeling inside. Mm -hmm. Actually, let you see. What I'm trying to tell you about. That's what I'm feeling in there. <laughs> Somebody help me. No. Not the hidden spot. Things get buried in there. When it's done, it's like, oh my gosh, I can feel my hips now. Like, you don't realize how bound up they are. Mm hmm.
you know, as your as these discs are aging, then coupled with this, then it becomes sciatica, right? So, getting the curve back to your spine takes the pressure off this, cleaning the channels that the nerves travel in. You know, trying to deal with the mind and stress it should get you to a place where now you're far from that cliff edge. If you have a bottle, you can just put you in and come home. Get out here, Ed. Rub my back. Oh, yeah. I'll try to give you the closest thing I have. Tattoo markings that. done. <laughs> it had all the blood spider. Jeez, <laughs> a lot, bud. Yeah, that's kind of that's pretty bad. correlate this with that picture that you were drawing. Eight, like ow, yeah. ow, your poor neck. Yeah, that's I mean, purple. <laughs> one. Okay, two. Ooh, that was nice. your elbow. Oh um, yeah. Go ahead and tilt left for me a little bit. Tilt left. Okay, nothing. Okay. Go ahead and tilt left. Tilt right. There we go. Sometimes you get the bottom, sometimes the top, sometimes both. There we go. go ahead and tilt to the right. Tilt to the right. Okay, good. Just nothing on the bottom. And tilt to the right. There we go. All right. I got you. Lay back for me. Let's see how you do this. Lay back. I got you. There we go. Come on, bring it back. Bend the knees. Come on, put the head back. Come on, there. Relax your arms. There you go. Relax, relax. Too much? Um, oh, I think it just needs a second to there adjust. You know. I know. If this was easy, I wouldn't have a job. This is the, everything I did on the table is to make this not agonizing. And we have to use the work See, if I, if I loosen you up and then you just go sit and round forward, you see how I just made your posture worse, mm -hmm. right? That's like scary on my end, right? Because if I make the clay soft and then I put it in a worse position, now I've just enabled and equipped the body to get a wrong, even worse alignment. So we want to... Mm -hmm. So right there feels kind of like it's... Stuck. Yeah. Go, then go knees right and then take a break. Yeah, this is, this is, your, this is your homework. So your range is below your shoulder blades to your about middle back. You have a range that you can use this device in. I don't want it all the way down in the small of your lower back. I kind of want it, you know, middle back region. And you have about, you know, probably this much material to go around in. And it's just time. We have to, the goal is 20 minutes and knees back up. And then for the most part, you keep the knees in the middle. Well, what's happening is the ribs are rotated because his back's rotated. <laughs> right? So it's really the back that's the problem. You're seeing it in the shoulders and you're seeing it in the ribs. But it's his back that's unlevel. His right shoulder is rotated back, making his left front come forward. So as his back becomes level, the, f the ribs on the front will become level. It's just a, it starts with his spine. And then the way I would look at it is you go through like 10 visits, that makes sense. And then 90% of this is going to go away. And then whatever's left might need to be worked on, like ribs or you know joints that are not 
address through the stretching, but we have major clogs. I'm not going to sweep up until I get these major wasp nests out of here. <laughs> we got to get these, yeah. these are the main problems. His back isn't level. I'm going to help you get off. So pick a side. Which side was less difficult? Um, Both are pretty bad. Same, yeah. Hold your side. Roll back on your back. Roll back on your back. Take a break. Take a break. There you go. I would, I would really start. Your main one to work on initially is this because the neck one is limited effectiveness when the chest is so rounded. Yeah. We need to get your chest in, and then the neck one becomes more. But just in interest of showing you, I want to show you the, the neck guy. Lay the head back for me. The neck guy is going to be pretty easy because the head's so far forward that the neck pressure isn't very much. Mm -hmm. So your perception is. I'm just laying here. It's just yeah. It yeah. doesn't. It doesn't feel like much. And actually, what what I usually find is that as this gets better, this becomes more difficult because okay. you're actually starting to do it properly. But this is, you know, I would I would like a 20 20 minute 20 20 minute sessions. I would try to accomplish first, and then we talk. Okay. I've had people. Well, I did 20 15 minute sessions. I didn't say that. I said 20 20 minutes because 20 is not a made up number. It's not a number I came up with that sounds cool. Yeah. It's a real number for how long it takes to stretch ligaments. Ligamentous creep is what we call it medically, but the ligaments that define your posture have to be fatigued by holding them stretched for about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and that's when, if you took a time-lapse video of you, if you put a camera and just <laughs> put it on you when you're on there, you would see very little change until around 15 to 20 minutes. All of a sudden the body will sink yeah. in. Like it just holds, and then all of a sudden, five, the last five minutes, it sinks in. And that's where posture change occurs. So is that the same like going vice versa? Like if you spend 20 minutes right. crouched or crouched over, it's yes. very smart, very smart. Okay. Yes, very good. Yes. Now, the deeper question then is, how in the world Ed, is 20 minutes bending back and have any hope of balancing the eight or 10 hours I sit all day? Right? Right? The answer to that is, you're, well, the answer is you're not hopefully as far forward as you could be. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. You're in mild flexion, mm -hmm. right? You're sitting. You're not hopefully sitting with your knee yeah, no. up on your chest in extreme flexion, mm -hmm. right? So 20 minutes bending back an extreme extension mm -hmm. can balance eight hours of mild flexion. Okay. But correct, if we can pull back on the amount of time we have to sit, it makes this faster. Mm -hmm. Because you're right, you are counter stretching, you're undoing, and, and the idea would not be to do this and then go sit on the couch and watch Lord of the Rings, yeah. right? And spend three hours round and forward. The idea is to actually do this and then go to bed, mm -hmm. right? So you brush your teeth and then go to bed, right? You don't then worry about eating food throughout the day. You're like, oh no, my teeth are getting dirty. Well, no, but the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna clean it before you go to bed. Okay. In the same way that back stretching, you put the spine where it belongs and then end your day. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Oh wow. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take your time. But you're you're about maybe an inch and a half, two inches now. I mean, you're you about your head's now an inch farther back than where it was. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be like going to the gym and being mm -hmm. sore. It's gonna feel like that. Yeah. Um, and then um, I'll check you out. Very thank good. You. I appreciate you All so right. much. Appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.